Greetings, gardeners. I tell you, there is nothing like a good solution to a terrible problem. This morning, I have run across a solution. Here in Hawaii, we have a moth. The moth is called the pickle worm. Now, we have these in the southern U.S. also. So, folks down south, you know, in Florida and places, you probably know this guy. Um, it's a nasty little thing. It'll lay eggs, and the larva will bore into almost any member of the cucurbitaceae. It doesn't matter whether it's a watermelon, a cantaloupe, a cucumber, or a zucchini plant. Uh, the main reason that I get by growing Godzilla squash here is because the Godzilla squash is resistant to this bug. I don't quite know what it is about that squash to resist, but it is resistant. Uh, they can't do too bad a work on it. But cucumbers, oh man, they munch them right down. They go right through the vines, they kill them off, uh, they go right through the pickles, you cut your cucumber open and the worm looks out at you. It's very nasty. And I've been growing cucumbers since I was a boy. I am not about to stop growing cucumbers now, so I needed a solution. Last year, I utilized spinosad, a bacteria that did keep things down to a minimum, and I got mostly pretty decent cucumbers, but it was a pain. I had to remember to spray every 11 days, you know, and if I missed, then I got worms again. So I needed a better solution. Well, not having the green garden guy to go talk to, I decided to go ahead and dial in the University of Hawaii and see what the heck they had to say about it. And they made a few decent suggestions. One of them was the use of parthenocarpic cucumbers. The parthenocarpic cucumber is the one that you may all know as the English greenhouse cucumber. You see them in the market with a cello wrap that cost a bundle, long straight cucumbers. That's the one. It does not need a pollinator to set fruit. It will set fruit vegetatively. So since it will set fruit vegetatively, it's possible to grow this cucumber in complete exclusion from insects. And so I set myself up some row cover with wire hoops, put six Socrates cucumber plants underneath there. The seed came from Johnny's Selected Seeds, English Greenhouse Socrates, Parthenocarpic Cucumber. And look at what I'm getting! Oh, I have so many cucumbers! I almost called up the food basket this morning. I've been ignoring going out here and pulling the cover off. Crops under covers are, for me, always a problem because in my garden, it's all observation. So this morning, I came out, I pulled the row cover off the top, and I'm absolutely delighted! Look at what I've got here. Look at those babies. That's the first harvest. It came from six Socrates plants. Uh, there were a couple of bad ones. I believe I lost three cucumbers. Uh, they'd gotten bit or something from slugs and started to rot. Other than that, I got 100% of what was under there. And this is what I'm growing it in. Right here, I have Agrabon 19. That's a floating row cover used as a pest barrier. Uh, I have wire, the type you'd support a grapevine on, turned into croquet hoops. They're pushed in the ground over the row, and then you can see the little plastic clothespins right there holding everything in place. Let me give you a peek underneath. Here under the tunnel, living in exclusion, <laughs> we have the vines, Socrates. No fungus, no insects, no bites, no nothing. They're perfectly protected under here. And they're loaded with fruit. I am so excited. This is cool as I'll get out. Yep. So I'm telling you, this is the biggest smile I've had all week long. It's, it's just lovely when stuff works out, you know? <laughs> you can't beat it. Yep, here I am. I got my big old basket full of cucumbers. I'm going to head into the kitchen now and I'm going to start cutting some of these guys up and make some cucumber salad out of it. Um, I called the neighbor and told her come on by because she brings me dinner every once in a while. I'll share some with her too. Next time around I guess I'll call the food basket and go, hey I got English cucumbers. It's fabulous. So if there's anybody else here in Hawaii that loves cucumbers and has trouble, part than a carpet cucumbers folks under floating row cover. It's the bomb. That 
And if you live in the southern United States, Louisiana, maybe Georgia, Florida, places where you also have the pickle worm and perhaps the Caribbean, it's worth the price of the seed for this cucumber. It grows so well here that I'm seriously thinking about doing commercial level production. Probably build some sort of enclosure that's a little larger than what I'm using right now. Although, this simple wire hoop with clothespins and Agribon, it works. It's working. The only down is you can't walk inside. you got to remember to flip it up and look. Aloha, y'all hang loose, and don't let the worms bite your cucumbers.